Okay, so this is going to be the first video in a series of videos whose goal will be to helpfully broaden your perspective on the very nature of reality itself. Um, we are going to be covering many different topics, many different theories, some very controversial as you can imagine. And uh, a lot of people are interested in some of these topics but don't know where to start looking, seeing as how many of the outlets on YouTube are propagators of absolute bullshit. So we're going to give you a hand here and give you an idea of where to start, where to start looking. And uh, if you've read the title of the video, you know that this first topic that we will be covering will be a very interesting one indeed. We're going to talk about UFOs and whether or not Earth is indeed being visited by some form of non-human intelligences. And we're going to start off with a few pictures, and then we're going to move on to some of the more interesting videos ever taken. And to start off here, we will start with some photos that have only recently been making the rounds in ufology. And these are the photos supposedly taken from the United States naval vessel, the USS Trepang, SSN-674. Now, these images were supposedly taken in March of 1971, and they were taken, now let me just get this pronunciation right, near the island of Jan Mayen, which belongs to Norway, in between Jan Mayen and the island of Iceland. Uh, now, Jan Mayen is an interesting island. It is inhabited only by the Norwegian Meteorological Institute, and uh, I believe there is a base there for the Norwegian military. The submarine, the American submarine that is, uh, was commanded by Admiral Dean Reynold Sackett, and the submarine was supposedly caught these images by accident. They are on routine training maneuvers and uh, supposedly came across this interesting object. Now there are a couple theories as to what this could possibly be. Uh, one being that it could be a United States target balloon. Sometimes uh, naval vessels release a large balloon with the purpose of shooting at it so that uh, it's much cheaper to shoot at a balloon than an actual aircraft. Now, these pictures don't necessarily fit with what is normally considered to be a U.S. Navy target balloon. However, they're pretty interesting, as you can see. They've only recently been uploaded in high resolution. Uh, if you're looking for the details as to who and when they were fully uploaded, I'm going to direct you to the Black Vault, which is a fantastic website dealing with the topic of UFOs. Uh, they are quite good at weeding out the crap from the good stuff. I will leave a link in the description for that. But uh, as you can see, pretty neat, pretty clear, pretty uh, pretty obviously showing something actually there. I do not believe these images are hoaxed, but uh, you never know. Something could get by me. And uh, this image here is one of the more famous images in modern ufology. And this was taken during the infamous Belgian wave of UFO sightings, which took place from, I believe, 1989 to 1991. Uh, it was seen by thousands of people, uh, caught on video as you can see here. Uh, Belgium fully acknowledges that they scrambled F-16s to track this thing. The F-16s indeed found it, locked onto it with radar several times. Every time they locked onto it, however, it quickly maneuvered outside of their range of uh, their technological instruments and one of the quotes made here apparently by a Belgian Air Force cadet from Brussels that supposedly radar caught them in one instance dropping from 10,000 feet altitude to 500 feet in less than five seconds which without crashing head on into the ground is something no modern aircraft has the capability of doing now, um, there are many, many images out there of all sorts of objects, but pictures are easy to fake. Uh, perspective can be hard to be found in background and foreground objects. A lot of times it's just a light in the sky. So I don't like to spend too much of my time looking at photos. And in fact, we're going to switch over to videos now. Now, the same thing goes with videos. There could easily be numerous explanations for many of the popular UFO videos out there. Uh, it, people have gotten very good with CGI. There are very, very many uh, do-it-yourself CGI programs available on the internet, free of download, where you can make some pretty credible looking UFO videos. So to start, we aren't going to look at any UFO videos taken on Earth. We are going to look at UFO videos taken from space from NASA, as a matter of fact. And uh, NASA has actually provided some of the best videos to date on the topic. So let's take a look at a few. 
All right, so this first piece of footage is taken from STS-80, which is a mission flown by the Space Shuttle Columbia from mid-November to early December of 1996. And as we watch this infrared footage, you'll notice two objects, one coming from the bottom right, one from the top left. They approach each other, and as they approach, they slow down, slow down, slow down, and then stop. Now, keep your eyes on that first large object as this video continues. You'll notice that it is now in geosynchronous orbit with the Earth. It will follow the rotation of the Earth floating above the exact same spot. Now, as I'm speaking, you'll notice a number of smaller objects seem to be coming off screen to join the party with the other smaller ones that entered from before. And as we watch, you'll notice they're about to be joined from someone who is already in the Earth's atmosphere, who will be appearing right from the north of this object. There he is, just coming out to say hi himself. And he is going to park as well. There he goes. He's stopping. He's got a few small friends with him as well. Now, if you keep your eyes on that original object we saw as it's turning out of the screen here, you will notice that the camera operator is obviously very interested in what's happening here. He's about to realign the camera to try to get a better look. And here he goes. I should also mention this is at two times speed. Uh, also, A, for the purpose of this video, and B, to give you a better idea of what's actually happening here. It's a little hard to see with these old 90s infrared cameras, but he is trying as hard as he can to see, and this thing is floating several miles above the top of the cloud layer, which is interesting. Just parked, checking things out with his little buddies hanging around. So this, as I said, was from STS-80, and this was not the only UFO incident captured by STS-80. There is a much more popular video known uh, all over YouTube from the same mission, and here it is. This was taken over Africa. Now, as you watch this video, you're going to notice several blurry objects, uh, kind of translucent looking, enter from the right-hand side of the screen, and they're barely detected by this infrared camera. Uh, they're going to start jockeying for position. There goes one there. He's going to have a few friends also coming from the right-hand side in a second. There's another. And as you can see, they're very ghost-like, uh, translucent, hard to see. But as they get to their positions floating above Earth, they turn on one at a time. There's one. That second one you saw enter, if you keep your eye on it, he's still to the left-hand side of the screen in the middle. And there he goes. He just turned on as well. Now you'll notice from the bottom of the image, you've got a couple more coming up to join. Now, as I, this is also sped up to two times speed to help you see what's going on here. Now, what's interesting here is they seem to be getting into a bit of a formation as more and more come to join. They're creating a big circle floating above the Earth. And in a second, you're going to see one more blurry object come from the right-hand side of the screen. And he is moving towards the center of the circle. And when he gets to his position dead in the center, boom, he turns on as well. And creating a big, nice little display for NASA's cameras just for them. Too bad they didn't tell us about this when this happened. Also very interesting. Now, this last piece of footage is taken from STS-114, which was flown by the Space Shuttle Discovery in 2005. And you'll notice this object come from the right-hand side of the screen. There he is. Flies past the Space Shuttle, which is moving in the same direction. So whatever this object is, is going much faster than the Space Shuttle Discovery. And it's headed straight towards the planet Earth. If you look closely, you'll see at the bottom of the screen, you can just faintly make out the curvature of the planet. So this thing came from outer space, headed straight towards the planet, and you'll notice as he gets much closer, at least closer than the space shuttle is, it banks to the right, which is interesting. Meteors aren't supposed to do that. Now, we're going to watch this video again one more time sped up, because you'll get a much better idea of what happened here, and it's a little more fun to watch. And boom, there it goes, flying straight at the planet, and as it gets close, banks hard to the right. Now that's not a satellite, it's not a meteor. And we're going to come back to Earth for this one. This is actually a piece of footage taken from a Department of Homeland Security helicopter over the island of Puerto Rico, one of America's uh, territories. Now you can see the camera operator is trying to get a closer view of this thing. He sees a small object flying past him. And as he's trying to track this thing, He'll start to zoom in, here you go, and as we watch, this object does some very odd things. Um, first of all, when you get a close view of this thing, it almost appears to be changing shape, or rotating, or something of that nature. The 
helicopter pilot is obviously quite interested in what he's seeing here, and he's going to try to follow this thing. And it'll become apparent throughout this video that this object is moving faster than the helicopter. He's going to have trouble keeping up with it in a minute here. So once again, I said this was over Puerto Rico, which is another hotbed of UFO uh, activity on the Western Hemisphere. Um, so he follows this object as it is headed from mainland Costa Rica, or I'm sorry, Puerto Rico, towards the coast. And he's going to approach the coast in just a second here. You'll start to see it come in. And as it gets over the water, that's when things really get interesting. So the pilot is still following this thing. It looks like it's lowering in altitude a bit. That could just be a trick of the camera. But it's still steadily making its way towards the coast. Now, as it approaches the coast, there you can see it flying over some traffic. I would love to know if anybody witnessed thing in daytime, but as of the moment, I don't have any reports of that. The, and by the way, I should mention that this video was actually released by anonymous Department of Homeland Security officers. Uh, they do not want their names out there. Apparently, they were not supposed to release this, but it made such a buzz on the base that they came from that they couldn't help it, had to get it out there, and here we are looking at it today. Now, uh, it's finally getting to the coast here. You can see the uh, camera operator is still trying to follow this thing. Here we go, zoom in a little bit more. And now this is where things get really interesting. Um, it's going to start appearing to dive under the water and come back up again. I don't know if that's a glitch in the video, but it seems to do it several times. It's under the water and pops back up in a second here. It looks like it's having a good time doing whatever it's doing. And it's going to get a little stranger yet. Now, as you can see, the camera oper operator is still following this. And when he zooms in again here in a second, some odd stuff is going to happen. As you can see, it still appears to be popping in and out of the ocean. And now there's two. Kind of. Did it split apart? Did it find another one? The other one, as you can see, is going off camera a bit. Which is odd. That could be a trick of the camera, but... As it approaches the end of its flight here, it kind of dives into the water, not to resurface. You can see the camera operator is looking for this thing, but it is now completely submerged. Very interesting. It's going to continue to look for this object here, but to no avail. That will be the last of you see of it in this video. So that's kind of interesting. Now, there are many other UFO videos out there taken from semi-official sources, but these are just a few of the better ones that I like. Uh, there's a whole bunch more, and I'm sure we'll be covering some more of those in future videos. I don't know if the next video is going to specifically deal with UFOs or not. But, uh, yeah, I thought that was pretty neat. So, um, as the operator of the camera here continues to try to look for the object, we, I think, will end this video with just a cute little clip uh, that I couldn't help but put up. And this video was taken off of Sky News. The uh, camera editor didn't realize that he was supposed to turn off the microphone a bit sooner. So let's take a look at that. The president of the country is given a special top secret folder. This folder in its entirety contains information about aliens who visited our planet. Along with this, you are given a report of the absolutely secret special service that exercises control over aliens on the... Well, let's leave that there because I believe we can now go to Paul Harrison, our rural correspondent, who, of course, is outside the King Edward VII Hospital where the Duchess of Cambridge well, is being Well, I guess Sky News didn't expect Dmitry Medvedev to go off script so quickly. Anyway, we started with a nice shot of uh, the Sombrero Galaxy, NGC 4594, and we're going to end here with a nice shot of the Pillars of Creation. So this were obviously just a few pictures and videos to get you started on uh, looking deeper into this topic. There's a lot out there, and hopefully in videos to come we'll look some more into some of these. But uh, as I always tell people, do not take my word for anything here. Do your own research. Um, look into this for yourself, and I'm going to try to help you with that by uh, leaving some links in the description below. Some goodies to look at, uh, original articles by Black Vault about the USS Trepang 1971 Arctic UFO incident. Uh, the official wiki pages on both the STS-80 and 114 missions. So take a look, uh, draw your own conclusions, and uh, see what else you can find. So we'll see what the next video covers. I'm not sure yet what the next topic will be, but uh, we'll leave that a mystery till it's posted. So anyway, uh, if you want to see more videos, like, comment, and subscribe if you want some more, and uh, we'll see what we can do for you. Anyway, stay safe. Peace.